So while I'm a businesswoman and entrepreneur, really I think most people would know me for my skills as a focus group moderator. Um, what's a moderator? A moderator is a jack of all trades in many respects, but a very well skilled one. Like a ballerina, we make our jobs look really easy and a lot of people think, hey, that's what I want to do. So basically as a moderator, my job is to engage people in a way where they feel comfortable and relaxed using my cheat sheet of questions, cleverly called a discussion guide, my job is to go in and get the goods, get information uh, that's relevant to my clients' goals and objectives, but do it in a way that's more like a conversation. I work in a fishbowl environment, which to me seems awfully normal after 20-some years, but basically it's a conference-style room. We're sitting in a conference setting, like at a round table. I'm at the head of the table, and the room is loaded with all kinds of interesting technology. In the ceilings, we have embedded microphones because we always audio record the, ses the sessions. Uh, behind me is a one-way observation mirror. That's always the James Bond element, as I like to refer to it, where my clients can observe the research as it happens, as it unfolds, because there's so much information that comes from actually being physically present and on site to see people not just talk, but you're looking at their body language, you're looking at their facial expressions. All of these nonverbal cues really inform not just the research process, but the learning process as well. Oftentimes, though I might ask somebody a question, I already know they don't like something based on their facial expression or maybe the thunderous eyeball roll or there's something about them where I know they're not feeling it, but I ask the question nonetheless because that's what a good researcher does. What we do is so stealth, if you will, it's behind the scenes. We are creating intelligence for so many different companies. It's almost, you know, sort of Wizard of Oz behind the curtain. But I want young girls to know that this is a fascinating career path. It's a very top-heavy industry where you struggle making ends meet in the beginning, but if you're patient and build your skill in your toolbox, whether you choose to become a moderator or quantitative research professional, we call them the quant jocks, it's a great lucrative career that's very exciting. You're part of major decisions that are being made on a very large scale. And it's, it's an endless source of fascination if you have a curious mind, but it's something that is a quiet as kept career path. And I just want people to know there's an option out there. If you're curious, you want to find out how decisions are made and how to affect decision making and represent groups of people that may not otherwise have a voice, this is the career for you.